Good morning, everybody. I'm here at Mustang Island again, here uh, taking some pictures this sunrise. Um, hopefully we'll get something good. Um, anyway, let's start this day out right. So this shot right here, I'm just gonna use some of these rocks on the jetty as the foreground. Really, right now, it looks like most of the light's being snuffed out by that marine layer down out there, but anyway, I've, right now I have it at ISO 100, F 5.6, and we're gonna see what we can do. I was hoping for some more waves to come in, but we'll give it a minute here and see. While I'm waiting, here comes one. I think it might be something. Let's get some focus on, maybe. Try to time it right about now. Two second timer. Yep, that was a little bit fast. Anyway, I'll work on that some more. So the sun is peeking through. Um, so we're going to get a few, really I'm mostly focused, I'm using that jetty as a foreground, kind of like I did last year, but that reflection that's going kind of up to the sun, I'm digging that, so we'll see what that provides us. Two second timer, boop, that's pretty good. Anyway, let's get another one. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm here at the beach again. We're going to see if we can get some pictures. There's uh, some clouds, like some storm clouds that we're rolling through. So we are going to see how they look. Uh, this morning, I'm going to try to take a picture, kind of like the reflection here. Let me, I like the reflection of the clouds and the water going that way. Then after that, we will focus our attention over back over to here and see what we get. So this shot here is similar to what I took last year here at Mustang Island with the jetties. A um, little bit of light starting to come through. Um, I'm at um, ISO 100, um, F 5.6, uh, six seconds. So I'm gonna see what kind of shot this gets. Um, right now it should uh, smooth out that water. Um, kind of, it's gonna be a long exposure. So we'll see what we get. Back it down at five seconds. Probably go a little bit more and let's try this. Focus right in front of me. Another shot, I'm, I'm going to use the uh, jetties here as a foreground leading up to those nice looking clouds over there. So, here's what it looks like on the back of my display. My ISO is 100, I'm at F11 in 8 seconds. It's a little bit over here, so I can. Here, let's try this right here. I got a two second timer. how that turns out. It may be a, too much of a long exposure, so I might bring it back a little bit. It doesn't look bad, but I am going to actually drop this down, get more light in the camera so that I can slow down the time. At eight seconds, we'll try this here. Doesn't look bad. It's 
So there we go. Refocus out there. Looks nice. I'm going to be coming over here and focusing on this a little bit. So anyway, let's get to it. I'm going to try to use these rocks again. Uh, this is the reflections and the water running over them. And you know, see how that looks. Uh, you know, it's still pretty, fairly dark out here. And I'll probably have like a two second, um, two second uh, shutter there. So we'll see uh, how that looks. While I'm waiting to see if the sun's coming out, um, I'm just going to focus a little bit on the uh, the clouds over there. Um, I'm going to use these rocks here as a foreground, um, and this the clouds is the main subject, but there's some of the coast that kind of goes to the center of the screen, so it all kind of leads your eyes that way, but let's have some fun. So, getting this on this side. Um, so I'm going to focus, take some pictures of that. Um, but the sunrise should be coming over there, but right now it's you know, not doing much of anything except way over there. So I'm going to focus a little bit and try to get that light off the water. I'll have a little bit of the, um, the rocks in the foreground. I wish I had a wider lens. Mine's 24 to 240. Um, but maybe someday. Here we go, POV style, so I can focus on the camera here. I've already taken a million pictures here, but the good thing is, is I don't have to pay any extra to develop them, so just time. So what I'm gonna try to, all right, let's get a lower vantage point maybe. over there maybe maybe over there Got some rock in front of me. But who's the real show here? So right here is proof that you should always look around you when you're uh, taking pictures. Like the sunset is supposed to be coming out behind me, but the real action is, or the real action is, is on the opposite direction of the sun. So look at that. Awesome sauce. 